Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, we are going to make some knives out of these wrenches. Now a friend of mine, a customer also, he was a customer, and um, he picked these two wrenches up at some kind of car boot sale or auto jumble show recently, brought them round and asked me if I'd make them into two knives for him. Um, it's his thing, not mine, but I said, yeah, basically I can do. Um, and this particular wrench, it's a shame really because it's a good wrench, it's a backhoe, uh, 14, 15 inch steel Swedish backhoe wrench that isn't really too worn. There's a little bit of wear in it, but it's still smooth, silky smooth. This is a crescent wrench, uh, an American one, which is really more knackered. It's all wibbly wobbly, the, the action isn't very smooth at all, the jaws are moving slightly. So that's no great loss. But personally I wouldn't uh, cut this one up and make a knife out of it. But I have a cunning plan. Um, and what I will do is, once I've cut this piece of steel off here to make this steak knife for him, I fully intend to weld another bar on here. I'll probably reinforce it on each side of that little well there with, with a strip of steel. And so we can have we can have it back to a crescent wrench again. That one not so much. That one probably just get binned. But let's go ahead. Let's uh, get this cut off with the slitting disc. And we'll get these forged out and see what sort of knife they make.
let's do some heat treating. I think a very ru rudimentary heat treat. Uh, give it a soak for five, ten minutes. And then I'll clean all this stuff up on the final grind. See how they like that? Put some anti scale on just to protect them a little bit. Let's have a look, eh? I just cleaned it off a little bit. I don't know what I'm expecting this to be in the 40s, high 40s, possibly. You do new. Uh, 38 it is guys. Yeah. 38 HRC. Let's go see it better from the front there. There you go. 38 HRC. Right, let's see if we can hit, achieve 60 with this heat treat. It's had its time in the sun and I'm going to go into this Parks 50 which is sitting about 17 degrees. And I've dropped it! Oil fishing expedition. them a test the roo so what we got I'm not holding up uh, great things for this yeah, it's pretty big and soft that pretty soft the big scale on there might try them again I think this is going to be a bit of a fail this test but there is all that decarb on the surface which will probably throw the result yeah, 20, <laughs> 20, <laughs> one, two, 20 through 22.5 degrees. <laughs> yeah, they are harder than that, guys. It's a file. It's cleaning the decarb off the surface, but it's... Uh, Fifty-eight to sixty. Now I could, I could grind um, these flats off and do a proper test, but I quite like that really dark finish there. So I don't want to mess the surface up. So I think we'll just sharpen these and clean the handle up. It looks nice, it looks nice that, nice nice. I have given both a good pull over diamond stone. Pull them over this strop now at the same angle. Yeah, they're not um, they're not high HRC. I'd estimate 57, 58 HRC. But you know, it's uh, you wanted a steak knife. It's a big steak knife, but it will definitely cut steak. Definitely cut steak. We'll see if they'll cut paper, they should do. I'll show you that in a minute.
Oh, a little bit of a raggy spot somewhere. Where is it? There. A little bit of a raggy spot. That just needs going, just touching over the stone again. Good way to test how sharp your knife is with paper. <coughs> There, it's cutting nicely there and towards the tip. There's no reason why the whole knife shouldn't cut like that. Like that. So I'll just run that one over the stone again, guys. Yeah, I can feel it there. Just a little bit lumpy. Just there. But what do you think? Let's bring you in. <laughs> they actually look quite cool, don't they? Forged steel, made in USA, with the tool company, Jamestown, New York. They actually feel really nice, them. So I'm going to leave that finish on them. If he wants me to grind them clean, I will do, but I just think that looks so cool. And it will stop them tarnishing because it's that quench finish. She needs a clean down some wax on them so two weeks ago guys I finished this another dagger really love this one because it's such a contrast to the other one that had the black handle and the stainless fittings so with this one I went with a burl wood with a black twisted wire um, and a, a, just a kind of a pretty cool pattern I thought on the blade let me change let me change these camera settings I'll get you in for a look and there she is these are all hot blued fittings um, tool steel fittings uh, beautiful bell wood with that twisted wire on it and you've got this really cute little guard there and you've got this uh, really nice pattern So I made this dagger to actually take to the sharp show which I attended about three weeks ago now. Um, had a love, fantastic day, I really did meet in all the other makers. Um, but I did take some footage, I went right round the whole hall with my camera, talked to people, looked at the knives. And it wasn't until I got home and looked at the footage and realised that I'd done the on to record and off to record thing. So I went around the whole show with the camera not turned on. But I've got some great footage of the floor as I walk back and turn the camera back on. So you ain't seen that because there is nothing. But uh, Scott Williams, Scott Wessex Blades is doing a video. I think Saturday, uh, what is it? Where are we? Friday? Friday or Saturday? Um, I'll put a link down here to, to his video because it, it. I think he's done a pretty good interview. I've not seen it yet from what he says. He's done his interview. He interviewed me. He's interviewed quite a few people and he's had a good walk around the hall. I think, it's a, I think it'll be a good video. I look forward to seeing that. So if you want to see what was happening at the Sharp Show, it was just south of Coventry uh, three weeks ago. Great event. Check out Wessex's link in the description below. Uh, you can have a look at all the makers, the knives that were on display, some beautiful, beautiful knives, some great products as well from suppliers, handle material, steel, etc, etc. Um, check that out, guys. Okay, that's it for now on this one. Thank you to my patrons. Uh, guys, please hit, hit the like and sub and all that good stuff. Get the video recognize a little bit if you can um, and I'll see you quite soon with don't know be rocket stove pigeons or the allotment and then we're back on knife making full time see you soon bye for now <coughs>
yeah, so if you want to see what was happening at the Sharp Show, which was near... <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck! Yeah, so if you want to see what was happening near... <laughs> yeah, so if you want to see what was happening at the Sharp Show, which was... I can't think where it was. Oh my God, Covid brain fog! Leave me alone! No, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh my God. Where was it? I don't know. So if you want to see what happened at the Sharp Show uh, three weeks ago, the uh, Sharp... I remembered. So if you want to see... Just before you go... I'll put it back on the stone. It will cut.